Ah! What's up, gamers? We're here for week six of the SPC, and we're going up against Jen, coach of the Chibi Chews, good friend of ours, wonderful person, and uh, hopefully this is going to be a really fun one. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, biggest threat on our team, I think, for what we have, probably the Galvantula and the Tentacruel. We have pretty good switches to everything else. Chansey can be very annoying. I don't have any great ways to break through it besides the Urshifu. Uh, the Flygon can also be a bit of a problem. But our Whimsicott should be able to handle the Suicune pretty well. And Moltres should be able to handle Rabombi. And uh, we have a ton of momentum this week. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, this was here. I don't remember why we brought it, but I think it's a fine lead. I don't see anything that it's really scared by. Um, yeah, I think this is a solid lead. What don't we see? We don't see Incineroar, so no Intimidate, which makes our Caesar a bit better. That was Oh, Caesar was here for the Weavile, which she didn't bring. So Caesar is pretty free to do whatever it wants to. Uh, what set did we have on that? Uh, Rocky Helmet, Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Knockoff. Okay, yeah, we can still make that work. That'll be still nice for the Chansey. But good luck to Jen. She's having a tough season, but she's very good. Uh, I remember the PML. She tore through that league, and she's a very good battler. So, yeah, good luck to her, and uh, hopefully we have a fun one. All right, yeah, I figured this would be a possible lead. Uh, it could be webs, could be energy ball. Either way, I want to just get damage on it, get rid of its sash. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for a scald. I could volt switch, but I don't think that's really necessary. I think this was originally an assault vest set, but I changed it, so that's why uh, we don't have toxic for like the chancy and that type of stuff. But also, toxic is just lame. I was joking I was going to run a Spark Lantern so that Sweetie couldn't set up subs for us, but Winsica can handle it relatively well, depending on the set, of course. I expect either a Sticky Webs or a Energy Ball, if she has it. Sticky Web, yeah. We have Defog on Moltres, so that's not the biggest issue, and Moltres can come in on something like Rabombi. Hopefully this was 50%. Nice. So I'm just going to go for it again. Uh, nothing really wants to take it. And the things that do, don't want to take a Volt Switch. If she has Energy Ball, I expect it here. Otherwise, yeah. Is this Chansey? Okay, yeah, I'll just Volt Switch out on this. Probably going to Moltres and Defog. We get the burn. I don't think that matters because it's probably natural cure. But it's nice. Yeah, I think Moltres is fine because we do have uh, Caesar for the Rabombi as well. We can see rocks, we can see seismic toss, we can see toxic. But there should be a fine chance to keep on. We could have gone Caesar and gone for a knockoff. That would have been fine. But I do want to get rid of the webs. Try attack. Oh, okay. Uh, freeze or repair would be annoying. That must mean if this is Serene Grace, then this thing is me staying burned. But yeah, I'm gonna go for a default. If she brings in the Galvantula, that's fine. She can just set him back up. I'm not too worried about that. If this is Serene Grace, that's pretty funny. I think Chansey has to be healer or some weird ability to run teleport, but it might be Serene Grace. That might be the hidden ability. I don't remember. But yeah, we don't have a ton for this besides our Urshifu, so it could be hard to break. This is the, yeah. Oh, speaking, okay. I'm gonna go straight into Whimsicott. If it sets up a sub, we go for an Encore. If it goes for a Calm Mind, we Encore. If it goes for a Scald, then we just Energy Ball. You turn, I don't know. 
Uh, we probably outspeed, but I'd rather not risk it. We have the Yachi in case it does Ice Beam. Or it is carrying it. But yeah, Suicune could be problematic if it's a Calm Mindset and Winsicott does go down. Toxic, okay. We can Encore that. Because we do have the Caesar. We could also U-turn if we expect it to switch out, which I kind of expect. I think I'll do that. Please regard the Caesar's please. Yeah. Back in this thing. Uh, Urshi throughout speeds this and we use U-turn. We are Scarf. That would give it away. Uh, do we have anything that outspeeds it naturally? Uh, we can go into Zygarde, I guess. Because I believe we're fast. Yeah, we're fast enough to outspeed it. And uh, she doesn't really have a switch in. Uh, I think her best... Oh, she didn't bring X to girl either. That's surprising. I thought X to girl was really scary from that team. But I guess with Urshifu, Caesar, Moltres, it got kind of scared off. Maybe she was scared of the Cloister as well, but I think with their two water types, I don't think that should have been a big threat for her. But yeah, they should either pick up a kill or get very close to it. Because she doesn't have anything except for the Rabambi that outspeeds. And Rabambi can switch in and scare us out, but again, we have Moltres. Hopefully she's able to pick him this quickly. I don't want her to run out of time. That'd be really unfortunate. Yeah, she sacks it off. So webs shouldn't be going up unless she brought webs on her Bombi as well. And this means we don't have to reveal the scarf on Urshifu. Which, honestly, Urshifu isn't looking that good in this matchup at this point. But, like, Wicked Blow is still basically free, especially without any Cinderella here. But yeah, I'm just going straight into Moltres. Moonblast, that's fine. Uh, she does have flamethrower switch in, so I'm just going to U-turn. She outspeeds us. Yeah, our special type drops, so we definitely want to U-turn. I could Toxic. Does that do anything for us? Not really. Uh, I think U-turn is just a safer play. This is the Suicune. Okay. I kind of want to go Caesar and knock it off. Just because I want to get rid of its item. Especially if it's leftovers. Which we'll know if it is. Because yeah, nothing on our team wants to take a knockoff. Because she could predict us to U-turn out again with the Whimsicott. And I don't really want to mess with that. Yeah, it's leftovers. Okay, yeah, I'd love to get rid of this in's item. She can Scald Burn me, I don't really care because Caesar isn't that important in this matchup now. And if we can get rid of the chip, or the residual recovery on this thing, that'd be fantastic. We can actually wear it down. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care if I get burned. That's fine. Getting rid of the item was the priority here. And now we can U-turn out. Uh, I'll save this for Bullet Punch, just because if it's like a Sash Rabambi, it could be nice. Oh, sweet, we can just Encore it. Because the one thing we don't want is this to just start setting up with Rest. Yeah, we always go for the Encore here. 
And then if she stays in, we'll probably leech seed. But yeah, getting this chip down as much as possible is great. Okay, that's fine. We can Encore it into Protect. She could switch out here. That would make sense to me. But I'd rather not risk it. She's Encore, Scald, Palm Mind. Maybe Rest is her last move. Maybe Ice Beam. She should switch out, but I can't risk it. Yeah, good play, good play. But I can just U-turn out on this thing. And yeah, I think she, it, that means she has three grace since she wasn't healed. Which, really funny set. I like that. We do have to save this for the Suicune, but... Oh, it's Toxic Skull. Protect, Calm Mind. Okay. So no recovery on it at all at this point. And I think Caesar is the play here. Because a knockoff here would be nice. Oh, that's gross. That's fine though, we'll just U-turn. But yeah, this week is going to be a pain in my butt if she's passing when she's into it. I'll have to start going for leech seeds. I could also roost here. I guess that's an option, but I don't think it's important right now. Yeah, I'm expecting Sweeper here. Nice, nice. And I can just go for a Leech Seed. Oh, I don't have Leech Seed. Shoot, I thought I did. So we'll go for a U-turn. Actually, I'm just going to hard switch. Because she's probably protecting. I expect her to Toxic the Lantern, but that's okay. We just need to get Urshifu in against the... yeah. And I think I Thunderbolt here and then Bolt Switch next turn. Because I think she... Toxic Sword protects, yeah. She'll protect this turn, so I'll Thunderbolt again and then I'll Bolt Switch the next turn. But yeah, that's great damage. Because the only way she heals us up is with Wish. We Thunderbolt on the Protect, and then we Bolt Switch when she goes into possibly the Chansey. In fact, that she's thinking means she might switch out, which is fine. I can hard switch out. She could go into, yeah, is this Flygon? Okay, it's Chansey. Uh, I'm just going to Volt Switch into Urshifu this time, just because that'll actually threaten the uh, uh, Suicune enough that it can't switch in. It'll threaten this and the uh, What's-It's-Nuts Suicune, because neither one is taking Wicked Blow slash Close Combat. Oh. And I think I'd rather save the Zygarde from a burn. Although maybe this is better. Yeah. Wicked Blow is free here. Ribami is the only thing that can switch in and it's not taken two of them. And Suicune is not taking it either.
Is she going into Rabombi? Oh, okay. This thing will get the wish back, and it'll be able to take another one, I'm sure. But, uh, the fact that Chansey and Sweeping didn't get healed up there is great. And it's a nice thing we didn't go for close combat. Okay. So here, I think we go into Lantern. Toxic Spikes are very annoying for us, so I could just go hard into this thing. Uh, I think I want to knock it off slash your turn. Just to see what it goes for. Doesn't leave. Nice. And yeah, I'm just gonna U turn here. Knockoff is also pretty free though. Yeah, I think I'll knock off. We've got three Pokemon status right now, which is unfortunate. I could have recovered there. Roosted, Roosted's probably the play there for sure. But uh, if Caesar goes down, then we get a free Thousand Arrows off Metal Flame KO. So we just Roost here just in case. And then we go into Zydog. Because uh, this ain't taking advantage of Thousand Arrows, and I don't see anything that does besides that Robot B. And uh, that's a big dip. But she's playing really well. This is a really close game so far. Uh, the status that she's spreading around is very annoying. But this thing doesn't have an item. Sweeping doesn't have an item. Chansey's very low. So it's just the Rabombi right now that can really do anything against this Zyagard. So I think that puts us in a good position. I think she has to sack something here. Uh, I'm not sure what she does She does sack. Uh, Rabombi could come in, it could U-turn, but then the next time this comes in, something's dying and possibly everything. This kind of pins her in some degree. I think this is probably the least useful mod for her since it doesn't have its recovery either and it can't really win, but the Suicune isn't doing a whole lot now that it's so low either unless it can get a wish off. Yeah, I, think I agree with her set in this. And Rabami has to come in, which means we get to go Moltres. If it has U-turn, then that's a good play for her, but if it doesn't, then Moltres kind of just gets a free U-turn into Zygarde again. I might have to attack this thing, just because uh, it could beat me if it doesn't. Actually, I can just roost. That's probably the safest way. Oh, I don't have roost. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'll flame thrower. No, I want to U-turn. This is tough. Rabami can still beat us for sure. I didn't realize I didn't have to roost on this. Okay, this is the Flygon, yeah. Do we have Ice Punch for Shiku? I don't know. We don't. Okay. Um, I kind of want to move less then. Just because this isn't really doing a whole lot for us right now. And Moonblast is very free. His Tentacruel is gone. So I think Moonblast will pick up a KO if she's not Scarfed. Besides for the Robombi, of course. But I think she wants to save that. Uh, I don't know how much this... Oh, okay. She lets us take this. If it, if it doesn't KO... Yeah, that's okay. It's low enough. That probably kills us. Yeah. But again, that's just a Zygarde kill. 
Uh, actually, I think I'd rather go for you turn. Because we're scarfed. I think it's okay that she knows that we're scarfed now. Although, I don't know what to U-turn into. Zygarde, I guess. No, that's what I was trying to avoid. Uh, I guess we go into Lantern then. Why did I have Thunder Punch? Was it for Suicune, I guess? Yeah, it must be. But Wicked Blood does a ton to it, so like... That was probably a bad decision on my part, but she's playing this really well. This is still anyone's game for sure. The Rabambi's the biggest problem for me right now. Because I think every time it comes in, I have to sack something to it at this point, and that's not something I can really do safely. But I think I go Lantern. Uh, it should be able to kill uh, Chansey from here. And even if it doesn't, we just bring in Urshifu and Wicked Blow. Okay, I think a Thunderbolt kills this. And I think I need to try for the KO, first and foremost. If it doesn't, then we're in a rough position. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's gonna die to the uh, burn though. Which means she gets to bring in Suicune, but I get a Thunderbolt if she wants the help on it. And so we'll just be, she'll protect, we'll Thunderbolt, we'll Thunderbolt again but she'll have Suicune back up to full. So that is a bit of a problem. Because yeah, this thing will be back up to full health. I think between everything that we have, we have a good shot, but that was a really good play. Yeah, we have to Thunderbolt. Because again, this thing can't do any damage to us. I think Volt Switch is the play here, because I think she goes into Robopi. And we're slower, so if she doesn't, then it's okay but it saves a little bit of health on this thing. But yeah, only thing she can do is Scald, and that's not something she wants to do. She, she'd call mine, I expect, here. But we can go into Zygarde and Thousand Euros. Or we could Toxic, but I think that's too passive, since we are Choice Lock. We aren't Water Absorb, I didn't know, honestly. But we'll take another move from it as well. And hopefully Zydog can KO. We are banded. Uh, we are uh, jolly, so we probably don't. But I think between that and Urshifu, it's okay. We are still in a bit of a pinch. I think that should do it. We get burned, which is annoying, but that's not really the issue. Unless she's Quiver Dance Rabombi, that'd be bad. Hmm. I'm gonna Thousand Arrows again. If she's Quiver Dance, that's an issue just because, uh, then Rabami can set up on us. I don't think I want that, so I'm gonna go Lantern. Does Moltres outspeed Suicune? It does naturally outspeed, but that's so risky because I have no speed investment. Okay, she double protected. That means she can either protect here or Skull here, but I get to Thunderbolt. 
Or Volt Switch. Volt Switch. She can protect again, that's fine. And this means a Scald probably kills me next turn, but I'm okay with that, I think. Because we can kill with U-Turn from Urshifu, I think. If it doesn't kill, then we're in trouble. But the goal is just to get Moltres in when Neptune goes down. Oh, she went for the double and she got Okay. That's not ideal. Uh, I wonder how much an Urshi. We are adamant. I think the U turn kills. I wish I had Iron Head on this thing. Although Iron Head would KO this. No! No! There's no way. Because I don't know how this ends. It depends on if she's Quiver Dance and if U turn kills. Let me do the calcs for, first of all, our Urshifu into the Suicune. New turn was doing 13% minimum, which I don't know if she was at that. If she was at 13% or less, then I think we had the game. But if not, we would have had to go into Zydog, back into Urshifu, U turned again, and then into Moltres. And I think we would have it. But if she was Sash, then that would change it. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, if it, I'll, I'll do the math and everything, and if it mattered, and uh, if she had a good chance of winning it, I'll give it to her. And, uh, you know, you'll see. You can check the results. You can check her side of the battle. I'm sure she'll let you know what happened. But, 
right now I'm not sure what we're gonna do and uh, I'm not good at editing so you may see more from me but I'm not certain so I'm gonna stop the recording here now all right bye